Hi, my name is Kemp Q. For years, I have pursued hidden gems, creating new accounts to capture untapped potential. But I've missed out on RuneScape's most renowned journey. With a new landscape of methods and monsters, I've been drawn back to where it all began. With formidable goals, this is where I craft my newest endeavor. This is playing RuneScape properly. I started this account with the intention of fully exploring RuneScape, and in the last few episodes, I've done things I'd never done before. In episode 9, I completed two Grandmaster quests. In episode 10, I celebrated by achieving the Quest Cape. And in episode 11, I trained Slayer. Which, I, I've, I've done that before. Uh, so sc scratch that one. But from this mound of progress, I stand fearless in the face of what is to come. Today marks the 75th day of this account's creation, and I am proud to already be preparing for one of RuneScape's ultimate challenges. So here we are, mapping out the plan to take on one of RuneScape's biggest challenges, the Inferno. But as my account is only two months old, I've spent most of my money on trying to get my skills up and complete quests. So it comes down to the task of unlocking one of the best money makers in the entire game. At 10 mil an hour, I can help other people get their torsos, pretty much doing all of their work for them. But in order to join the people that are already doing that, I need to prove myself to them. I need to qualify and pass their trial. There's a test they put you through, and if you don't pass, you have to wait another week until you can take the test again. In order to even take the test, however, I need to get level 5 in all roles of Barbarian Assault. Alright, that took quite a long time to kill the queen, but... We managed to do it, and that is the second one I've ever completed. Many more to go before I get level 5 in all rolls, however. The third queen defeated, and my attacker roll is now at level 4. One to go, and then I'm switching roles, probably to healer next. 77 farming, 75 hunter, all from birdhouse runs. And there it is, level 5 healer. Beautiful. Nice. That's a pretty quick queen, even though I'm going with, you know, just random people. We performed pretty well that time. Ooh, a new personal best for the queen time, 22-32. Is that it for all of the rolls? Hopefully so. Defender, 500 points. Nice. All right, that's it. Mastered all the rolls, and now I can start helping people get their torsos, and they'll pay me a lot of money for that. I think about 8 mil per hour. So, here we go. Let's redeem the mastery. Yes. Aw, oh, beauty. Good stuff. I don't even have my torso still, but... I'll probably get that just by um, just by practicing with the people that are going to train me up. Let's do this. I was looking at the guides provided by BA Services, and the attacker guide suggests that I need to have the Crystal Halberd. I need all of these, parts 1 through 5, in order to even join the clan, so I have to get my hands on that, but that requires the Hard Western Provinces Diary. I have to get 70 Thieving. Fortunately, I have a lot of the other requirements out of the way, but yeah, 70 Thieving is next on the agenda. Starting out with the Unbearded Bandits from 63 to 65. Off to the meta fights. Nice, there's 70 Thieving. I'm gonna actually go for 72, because I can boost 100% guaranteed with a Skirk Juice, or Squirk Juice to level 75 and then pickpocket from the gnome for the western provinces hard diary and there it is 72 thieving time to get out of here what the hell who is this guy traveling merchant what easter event maybe i don't know all right give me a beer glass shelves yes nice all right can i go here yet no all right looks like i gotta do the mini quest i think i just have to do one run of this and then i get myself the squirt juice to boost myself to 75 thieving. Oh, that was close. That was close. The squirk juice. Nice. Can I make it right away? Oh, no. Should have brought a stamina. With two of the fruits, I got myself the summer squirk juice. Now to, well, first of all, buy some battle staffs because I'm keeping up with that, doing that every day. Hello, gnomey boy and farmer. Skulls Pearl. Nice name, dude. Wow, this, this strength level is really staying at 106 there, isn't it? There we go, nice. All right, now I have a minute and a half to pickpocket a gnome. Let's do this. Don't fail too many times. I'm using preserves, so I should be okay. I have a whole, like, 80 seconds left. Yay! All right, that is the Western Provinces. That's probably one of the hardest tasks to do, because you do need 
at least 70 thieving for that one. So there we go, one of the hardest completed. Now I have to do the easy, medium, and hard Western Province Diaries, and then I can get the Crystal Halberd. I also need 65 construction, but that shouldn't be too difficult. I have to get about double the XP I currently have, so yeah, it should only take about an hour or two. Ha ha ha, nice. 65 construction, yes. All right, now my Tears of Guthix won't go to construction for a very long time, and will just go to room crafting, which is good, because uh, in the past, it's gone on construction, which isn't good. I can also build a pool of some sort in my garden area. 60 herb lore. Ooh, that's spendy. 75k. At least I can afford it there. Superior garden is being built. Nice. This will be very useful for the rest of this account, especially with this thing here. And the teleports from that. I don't have the levels not near close enough. Yes, yeah, so actually, I can build a spirit tree. Holy crap. I did not realize that. All right, I will do that at some point. But for now, let us build the restoration... What am I missing? And the first of many, restoration pool built. Now I can restore my spec, which is already 100%, but yeah. I can also add the stamina potions as soon as I get the boost from 65 to 70, which with the tea that my butler is about to make me, will come very shortly. Servant, make me tea. How much does it boost me? Plus three to 68 maybe? Uh, just plus two, all right. Well, that's exactly what I need. And here we go, the stamina pool. Excellent. All right, I'm just going to rotate this thing, and then I will have a stamina pool right there. Very easy access. I haven't built, like, anything in my house. I don't even have, like, a glory. This is the first upgrade of many. I've got to kill some chompies for the Western Provinces diary, so I'm making my own Mithril Brutal arrows they wouldn't buy on the Grand Exchange. Killing chompies is probably one of my most hated tasks on this entire game, but it has to be done. I have to kill 300 to complete this hard diary, so yeah. Pretty painful, but I'm collecting a lot of ogre bellows to do it. I'll be back shortly for full void, at which I could immediately upgrade to elite void once I have the hard western provinces complete. But for now, just doing the novice boat for the easy task, and then I'll also do the intermediate and veteran for the other tasks on the medium and hard diaries. Whoa, nice. 87 hit points. And there we go. 75 defense. I can now equip pretty much everything in the game, except for I think I need 75 prayer for the Elijah bump. Other than that, yeah, I could be the tankiest person in the world right now. Big milestone there. Novice and medium boat completed. Now just for the veteran. Nice. All right. How many points do I have now? I have 12 total. All right. That's a good start for the 1200 or something I'll need for all the helms, the elite pieces, and all that stuff. Ah, uh, yes, finally. All right. I killed 30 chompies. It was better than I remember it being. But yes, I have received the first chompy bird hat. Easy diary complete. And the runecraft XP. Thank you, elder gnome child. Well, this takes a long time, don't it? I just want some bass. They're not very expensive. All right, there we go. Medium tasks complete. Now for my runecrafting XP again. Now just for the hard. Originally, I claimed a shield when I finished roving elves, but I need a bow in order to do the hard diaries, so... Here we go. 900k down the drain. Oh, it's brutal, but worth it, obviously. Hey, I passed it and I didn't even know it. 304 chompy birds killed. Oh, that's the fight. Oh, I'm so... I'm done with this. I can now do the hard Western Provinces diary. Got a few steps to do on that one, but the worst grind is over. I cheated a bit and used the, uh, the whip uh, for most of the kill. But will the crystal bow will it work? Yes, okay, I could just use it for the last hit. Nice. Another task complete, monkfish cook. Here it is. I need to kill Zora. And with what better weapon than what it drops? The toxic blowpipe. Definitely the best thing I could possibly use. And the first time I'm ever gonna use it after recently getting 75 ranged. So here we go. The first time it's ever been on this account, I'm looking forward to using it. All right, I watched a few seconds of a guide, and I've seen people do this on stream for years and years and years, so you'd think that I could be able to do this. I've done a few kills in the past, but when I say a few, I really mean just a few. So I'm quite inexperienced with this, but I'm going to board the sacrificial boat, and I, I, I would like to ride it. Hello! Haha, <laughs> all right, I'm uh, looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do so hot on this first attempt, but... I'll try my best. This did not go as well as anticipated. Goodbye. Second attempt. Once again, failed. Why are the... Oh. My recoil, um... It died. 
<laughs> my recoil ring ran out. Oh, I didn't expect that. Excellent. Also, only needed one recoil ring this time, whereas I would have needed two last time. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But you know what? I'll take my eh, about 100k loot. Not too bad. And we completed a hard task. That is very good. Very good indeed. I want to keep this bull pipe, man. It is, it is just such a, oh, I'm so glad I have it now. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Fletching is very easily trained with profit through making bolts instead of darts, and the mechanics are the exact same. Just got 69 fletching, I can now make rune bolts, which have the most profit because they're, you know, pretty expensive. I bought these for 322 GP each, and I can sell them for 341 each, or even higher. I think as much as 390. Making bolts, I'm just doing it while 3-tick fishing. It's pretty efficient. I should probably not drop those and <laughs> configure this correctly, but yeah, this is a very good method. I'm liking it a lot. I also got 75 fishing a few minutes ago. I'm waiting for my palm tree to grow for the Western Provinces hard diary, but I might as well do the Vera card diary. I've had the stats for ages. Nice. All right. Three U roots because I have very high farming and I might as well plant another U sapling. I brought it anyway. In general, I haven't been doing U tree runs because they are very expensive compared to just fruit trees. This guy's a legend. All right, another task complete. Now this is probably being really idealistic, but I'm hoping I can get a lot more kudos than I have here. I need 153 for the Varicard Diary. So yeah, maybe I could scrape that. Probably not though. Explore the city and maybe do some quests. I've done all the quests. What are you talking about, bro? Well, at least I get some Runecraft XP out of it. Thank you. Now I just need seven more kudos. Moment of truth. Is my palm tree completely healthy? Yes! Ah, oh, excellent. All right, the second to last task. I still haven't bothered uh, making something in my house, but there we go. I also got 78 farming and the second to last task complete. What can you do for me? Well, you could give me a painting. The Isifdar painting, please. Yeah, that's it. All right, that's definitely it. Isifdar. Ooh, the most advanced tier. Yes! Excellent. All right. Time to head to the Gnome Stronghold. Let's go. What is that now? Is that the third hard diary complete on this account? Yeah, Kandrin, Karumja, and Western Provinces. Oh, yes. And this is like, I think, in my opinion, one of the best ones. You get unlock Elite Void with this. Of course, I still have to do Pest Control, but there we go. Beautiful. It is complete. And I get some RuneCraft XP as well. Thank you very much. Oh, 59. Makes it all the better. Two cosmic runes, that's a nostalgic message for me. Shields, bows, and halberds. I will add to my collection of crystal equipment. Definitely, 750K, <laughs> oh, that is definitely worth it. Now I think I can enchant this thing at Nightmare Zone, not sure about that one, but regardless, I do want to enchant my crystal shield and uh, my crystal bow there. I think it costs very few Nightmare Zone points in order to do that. Let's see, what are you gonna charge me here? Ah nice with the crystal halberd achieved i'm much more qualified for the attacker role but while i wait for an experienced team to train me in the ways of efficient barbarian assault i aim to achieve full elite void in my waiting period bro let me through oh my god <laughs> i hate him it needs to be done to avoid the hellhole of free to play. 3.9 mil spent on another 14 days of membership. Nice, 76 defense. One of many levels here. The last game, here it is. Let's do this one right. I'm gonna do my absolute best. Kick ass this game, kill all the pests. Oh, it's done. It's done. It's done. I'm very pleased because that is all the void or pest control points that I will need for a very, very long time until I go for like completion of stuff like the mace and stuff. Well, I'm not gonna use that anytime soon. But yeah, I collected quite a few points at once, as you can see. 1652. Void Ranger Helm, yep. Thank you. Void Melee Helm and the Void Mage Helm, all right? All three helms. And that's it. That's it for that. And then I can, I, I don't know how I can do this, but I think I just talked to her. Do you wish to upgrade? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Yes, full void. And I should wear the melee helm with my whip there. Oh, <laughs> I've never worn this before. Ever, ever, ever. So yeah, I've just completed an elite task as well. This is very good, I'm very happy. I think I was getting 110, 120 pest points per hour with the veteran boat. Yeah, not too bad, two days of work. And here we are with one of the best armor sets in the game and certainly one of the cheapest. I also earned like 250K going for that. So yeah, free money, I'll take it. 
The 10 mil per hour money maker is coming up shortly. I just have to practice and train my way up until I can pass the test that the people are going to put me through. But this has been a very productive sub goal to complete. In this video, I completed the Western Provinces Hard Diary, got full Elite Void, level 5 all roles in Barbarian Assault, and trained my skills a substantial amount as well. Now all I have to do is study up, learn all that I can learn about doing efficient Barbarian Assault, and making that 10 mil per hour. It's just a matter of preparing myself for the test. Cause when the